Welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about two myths. The first one is about parallel charging and the second one is about fast charging your battery at more than one C. Uh, the first myth is that the people said parallel charging is wrong, this or that, is bad. Yes, it's risky. It's very risky if you don't do it correctly. But if you do right, there is no any problem with it. If you do wrong, you can get fired with easy. But there are several videos online how to do parallel charging correctly. And I will try to talk today about the, uh, another myth, which is a uh, fast charging the battery. That most people say that do not charge over one C because if not, you will damage your battery. And that is a myth. Uh, if the chemistry is correct and allows it, you are able to charge at more than one C and nothing will impact the health of your battery. But not all the batteries specify correctly what is the maximum charge rate. In the same way that the, the battery has the, let's say for example this one, in the, in the same way the battery has the, the C rate, which is the discharge rate, which means 100 times the C, the, the standard C of this battery, which is uh, the capacity, which is the uh, 1.5 amps or 1500 milliamps so that in the same way many batteries does many doesn't but still even the one that doesn't do or doesn't show uh, as well can support more than one C that will depend and I will tell you how to test it for example here is a this one is indicating that has a 5C max charge rate 5C so that means that you can charge it at five times the current the capacity, which is in this case is 1.5 amps, so it will be 7.5 amps. So, the for example, all the battery like this one, the rate is squad, they don't specify the max C rate. I mean, the max charge rate. And but they supports I tested. I only went on to three C. Uh, still, I asked them in an email and they reply back that they don't specify but they choose support the standard that current modern battery supports that between 3 and 5C. I charging this at 3C since new and still they are like a new so not any problem with them. The way to charge the battery, fast charging the battery, is not doing it with the option that you will have on the battery's charger any battery charge is similar to this one. This is the one uh, I like. It's a two channels, uh, but doesn't matter. This is not the, the review for this charger. What I want to show here is a, you will choose having a program for your battery charger as well that you can do LiPo balance charge. You can do LiPo charge. You can do LiPo fast charge. Of course, the storage and discharge, all that. But this fast charge uh, it's not the right way to fast charge your battery because in this case it will f charge the battery on balance for example if I plug this battery or this one uh, here and I try to charge it in the in the fast charge way right I'm not connecting the lead for the balance lead I only connecting the main lead as we can see here and then I try to charge the battery It will allow me to charge the battery with no problem. It's fast charging the battery, but it's not balancing the lead, so the, the, the cell, so it's not good. You always need to try to, ba to balance the cell as much as you can. If we try LiPo charge, just charge, no fast charge, the same thing. We can charge the battery without balancing the battery. Whatever you don't have the, the balance lead connected to your charger means that you are not balancing correctly your, your battery. And why we have to balance the, the battery? Well, the battery, as we see on this one easy, is composed for, in this case, four cells. It's like a four independent batteries. Each of them is one cell, 3.7 volts default standard voltage, but actually they can go from 3.2 to 4.2. But the standard voltage we talk about always is 3.7 uh, per cell. So the, that's why this number that you see here is calculated based on that. This is a 14.8 volts. It's calculated at 3.7. Uh, 
and 22.2 watts because it's that value times 1.5. Then a, this battery has four cells. Each cell is like an independent battery. They are connected in series, one to each other. And if they were exactly identical in all the characteristics, we don't need to have this piece here. With this one only, we will be able to charge it correctly and all the cells will get the same voltage and same current and same uh, capacity, so same power already stored on the, on the battery. And in the moment of discharging as well, each cell will be able to give the same rate, but that is not the case. The chemistry is a little bit complicated and has different components, different characteristics, uh, temperature, uh, even, in the, as, even in the way that you solder those, those cells to one to each other are not perfect. So that makes small differences. The resist internal resistance of the battery are very low, which means they are, when I take very low, I say 0 0.00 or 0 0.10 or 0 0.08 ohm mills, which is a, are in the range of the 8 milliohms, 10 milliohms, 13 milliohms, 6 milliohms, depending on the battery. Then as that resistance is so small, they are very sensitive to temperature. And that resistance is the one that, together with other parameters, dictates how fast and how slow we'll be able to charge or we'll be able to discharge or, or the, how much capacity can give at a certain moment. But then that at the same time in the moment of charging makes impossible for just applying power here that all the cells will be charged correctly. That's why we need to use the balance lead. So any time that you're charging the battery and you are not using the balance lead means you are not balancing correctly the battery. And that is the right way to charge the battery. If the battery set that support 5C, it's supposed that if you put the, the, the balance connector here, well, if we try to, for example, if we try, I want to show this. So, uh, lithium battery. If I try to balance charge without this lead connector, the balance lead connected to the battery, to the charger, we will see what happens. Start complaining because it's not able first to detect how many actual cells this battery has based on the voltage that we have. So if I plug this in, I and I do it again. We start charging and then we'll start doing a balance charging. So in this case, I do the balance charging here uh, at 1.5 amps, which is a 1C capacity. If I want to charge it at 2C, I need to multiply that times two, which is uh, three, three amps. So then I can go here and modify. That is the same thing that will happen on your charger. You put it three amps here and then in this case we'll be charging at 2C. So charging at 2C means that they, by default, assuming that it's a well discharged battery and everything, by default it will take about one hour, maybe a little bit less, but let's put one hour because it's 60 minutes, it's easy to do math with round numbers. So if you have a fully discharged, will take you one hour to charge at 1C. When you have it at 2C charging rate, the battery will take 30 minutes to charge. If you have two channels, means that you can charge four batteries in one hour. So one he two here and two here. So you charge four batteries in one hour at 2C. If you put 3C, means that you divide 60 minutes by three, and that is 20 minutes. So you can charge three batteries here in one hour, and three battery here in another hour. So with just one with two channels like this, one charger with two channels like this, you can charge in a fast rate, assuming that the battery holds correctly without damaging the battery, which is safe for the battery to charge it at 3C, like this one, for example, is you will be able to charge three batteries in each channel in one hour. So it will be six batteries in one hour. For example, we can stop here and then we can go again and put it to 3.9. No, sorry, uh, in this case it will be 4.5. 4.5 for the 1500 uh, will be the 
3C. Then in this case, we start charging at 3C the battery and should take only 20 minutes to charge this battery at 3C. Of course, you need to make sure that your charger is able to support the power you getting from it. In this How you know if your battery can hold more than 1C, 2C or 3C? The first way to know that is that they, you read it. If the battery indicates that you can charge at some numbers, that means that it is it's designed for it and it's safe to charge it and won't be any problem with the battery. If the battery don't say it's like this one, I ask them and they reply back, I test it anyways and then I'm able to charge, I didn't try more than 3C on these batteries from Tracer's Quad, but these batteries I'm able to charge it for 3C with no problem. The test I do is that you can try to charge it at 1C to take, let's say, one hour. At 2C, it needs to take around 30 minutes. It takes more than 30 minutes, I mean, more than half when it's only charging on 1C, that means that the battery won't support more than 1C. It's not safe to charge it more than 1C. As well, you can be verifying the temperature. In this case, this is ice cold. So it doesn't matter how, how many C I put, two, three. The fast balance charging is linear. It means if fully discharged battery takes you one hour to charge at 1C, in 2C will take you 60 minutes divided by two, which is 30 minutes. In 3C should take you 20 minutes, which is 60 divided by, by three. In 4C should take you 15 minutes, which is 60 divided by four and so forth. If you, at some point, you start not getting the, the, the value of, on time that you're expecting, if you see that the, 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 the charging rate is not keeping linear in a table, right, that means that the battery won't hold and then will, maybe you will damage your battery. That is not a scientific or anything, but that is about the way that I found uh, in the batteries it supports the rates or not. And that's what you need to pay attention to it. That's why it's a little bit uh, empiric to find out if the battery supports the charging or not. The best way to know is that if they say 5C, choose support 5C. But anyway, that is the idea. If the battery supports more than 1C, there is no any problem. No problem. That is a myth that, will you, that you will damage the battery if you charge it for faster than 1C. That was true for batteries 10 years ago, maybe seven, eight years, six years, I don't know how many years ago, but well, that is everything at the moment.